In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Borders from SquidFX. Borders lets you frame your footage with style. Borders was created for use in Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under SquidFX Borders. There are 27 great preset effects broken up into basic borders and indented corners. Let's take a look at some of the presets. The basic borders presets have different border styles paired with effects. The indented corners have different corner styles and some corner flourishes. All of the effects work on any sized footage, even a clip or image that is tall. I like this basic border called Shadow on Clip. Let's take a look at the parameters. We have control over the width and the roundness of the border. I'll change the outside corners to round. The fit method is currently set to have the border simply overlap the clip. We also can auto fit the clip inside the border. Now if I make adjustments to the width of the border, you'll see that the clip itself will resize with it. Additionally, there is a custom crop feature with an on-screen cropping control that gives you complete customization over the crop. We have some effects to choose from. Currently it's set to Shadow on Clip, but we also have Shadow on Border, Soft Edges, Rough Edges, and Inset. I'll leave this set to Shadow on Clip, but I'll adjust the effects level to give it more shadow. The Build In and Build Out controls allow you to animate in and out the width of the border. I'll check Build In. We have some blend mode options for the border. These blend modes work best when the fit method is set to overlay or custom crop, like we have it. Finally, we can control the overall opacity of the border. You can also use the borders effects on a clip that has its own cropping done already in Final Cut Pro, or if you're using the Ken Burns effect. Simply create a compound clip and then drop the border on it that you'd like. SquidFX Borders offers a quick and easy way to add borders and indentations to your footage. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.